Welcome to the tour of our software for the electrical and thermal simulation of semiconductors and optoelectronic components. Numerical device. Device is an advanced finite element multi-physics simulation environment for the physics-based simulation of charge and heat transport. Some examples of charge transport simulations include photodetectors, electro-optic modulators, terahertz resonant modulators, solar cells, CMOS image sensors, and MOSFETs. And some examples of heat transport includes waveguide tuning, thermal switching, and plasmonic heating. With device, you can design and optimize your component in a full 3D TCAD environment. Device uses an automatically generated finite element mesh, which automatically adapts and refines based on the geometry, the doping distribution, the optical generation profile, as well as the heat source. You can use the charge transport solver and device to simulate charge transport in semiconductors. You can start by building the component in the 3D graphical layout environment, specify your material system, as well as your doping profile, and your electrical contacts. You can then simulate and analyze your device in the same graphical layout environment. The charge transfer solver can perform steady state simulations. In this example, the forward bias IV response of a PIN electro optic modulator is illustrated alongside the spatial distribution of the electron density in the waveguide region. As the bias increases, charge is injected into the waveguide region, changing the optical refractive index. The charge transfer solver can also perform transient analysis over a wide range of time scales using an efficient and adaptive time stepping algorithm. Here we illustrate the time varying response of a CMOS image sensor subpixel illuminated by an optical input of different intensity. And this is applied over a specified time window. The generated charge is then integrated and transferred to the folding diffusion during readout. The heat transport solver and device can be used to simulate heat transfer in solid state components. You can also start by building the component in the same design environment. Define your thermal materials. Define your heat source as well as boundary conditions. You can then simulate and analyze your device in the same graphical layout environment. For this example, a voltage bias is applied across the two contacts. The resulting current is then used to heat the waveguide located under the wire to thermally tune the waveguide. Device integrates well with Miracle's leading photonic simulation tools to support components that require multiphysics. For example, to simulate a photosensitive device like the photodiode shown below, we would start with the optical simulation in FDTD solutions, and we can extract the carrier generation rate in this photodiode. Device's charge transport solver can be used to independently simulate the dark current characteristics of a component. And we can also use a generation rate from the optical simulation as a source and obtain the transient response under illumination. Device can also be used with mode solutions to simulate the electro-optic behavior of active guided wave components. In this example, we use a charge transport solver to simulate the waveguide carrier density of a depletion mode MOX sender modulator. And we can do this as a function of increasing bias. This leads to a change in the optical refractive index, and we can use mode solutions to calculate the optical modulation response. This includes the mode profile, the insertion loss, and the extinction ratio. To simulate thermally tuned waveguides, we can use the heat transport solver and device to calculate the temperature distribution around the waveguide which has been heated by a wire that's located above. This also leads to a change in the optical refractive index of the waveguide, and we can use mode solutions to calculate the phase change as a function of applied power. Finally, to simulate optical heating in plasmonic nanostructures, for example, we can start by using FDTD solutions to calculate the absorption profile. This can then be used as a heat source in the heat transport simulation. 
and then we can calculate the resultant temperature distribution in device. For more information on Lumerical device, please visit us at www.lumerical.com slash tcapproduct slash device.